On the way back from New York, we flew through Athens, and I figured since we are doing these uh, airport lounge series, let's do that at Athens as well. So let's see what we have there. As you can see from this picture, they have quite a collection of Greek wines, both whites and reds. But I picked just two reds to really focus on uh, with a particular Greek grape called Agiochitico, Georgitico, that is very prevalent in Greece and uh, used both on its own and in a blend. Here, those two wines are, uh, the one on the left is a blend with Cabernet Sauvignon and the one on the right is a blend with Syrah. So this is the setup. We have these two cups of wine, left and right. We'll talk about it in detail with this beautiful little chocolate dessert that I thought would help the whole thing really go through nicely. Well, let's get started. We have the wine on the left and the wine on the right. The one on the left is the one by uh, Papa Giannikos, and this is uh, called Erythros, which is a mix of Argeorgitico and Cabernet, about 30% Cabernet. And the other one is by Semeli called Helios, and it's a mix of uh, Argeogiricos and Syrah, but I don't know what the proportions are. As we saw in the bottles, the bottles did not have the proportion on the one on the right. They're both in this wonderful uh, cardboard cup. It is fully recyclable, and it is coated on the inside, so it doesn't really, but you can tell how it really is, uh, it stains the white of the cup with the color. The color is very deep. It looks like a dye, really, that you could use it to dye something. Let's just see what we have on the nose. The nose, the nose is pretty subdued. So I don't know how long the bottles have been open because of course it's at the lounge here. This is 30% Cabernet, which seems to be a, a pretty uh, common blend here with the, in Greece with the uh, uh, Argeogeticos. It's a, it's a it's a, one of these favorite blends. And I, I just get a little bit of a faint, you know, wax from the cup, but you know, that's just the way it is. Uh, let me taste it. Hmm. It's very dry and a bit sort of tannic on the finish, a bit harsh, but in the in the attack, it is actually nice and fruity. Uh, it is not a, not a bad wine, but it's really not something I would get out of my way to taste. The Cino Marlboro we had together, I think a year or two ago, was, was a lot better. Let's try the mix with the Syrah. The color is very similar, although it seems to be a little bit lighter. Maybe it's got, uh, maybe it's because of the Syrah or maybe because there's less of it in the glass, but I get a little bit more of a uh, sort of light purple brown tinge on it that is and it doesn't seem to stain the cup as much um, on the nose i get a bit more floral so there's a little bit more character here in the aroma uh, let's see what it tastes like Hmm. I kind of like the spiciness that comes through from the Syrah. I do think it adds some character and depth to this, which somehow I didn't get to the Cabernet blend. I don't, this is not a bad, uh, it's not a bad blend. Again, it seems to be unusual because Cabernet seems to be the favorite blend, but this is, uh, this is not bad. And if I had some uh, time here in the airport, I think this is what I would have uh, for lunch other than uh, trying the other, 10 wines that uh, we showed you a picture of that seems to be available. Anyway, uh, maybe one day we'll be discovering more of Greece's wines together, but this is just another very small opportunity. See you soon and happy travels.